Super Storm Sandy and the winds and the storm surge. As if that's not enough, Sandy is topping it all off with a blizzard. Yes, a blizzard. The best view of this blizzard, yeah, I'm talking snow, uh, is on a live feed from TVNweather.com. Let's go straight out to professional storm chaser, Reed Timmer, star of uh, Discovery Channel Storm Chaser. Reed, where is this snow and what does it mean in the context of this storm? Well, right now we're about two miles east of Elkins, West Virginia, and we can hear trees snapping off into the distance because the, the, the snow is so heavy and wet and the wind is starting to pick up. Those blizzard conditions are finally starting, and the snow is just right up all on the Appalachians where uh, basically Hurricane Sandy and all the moisture and energy is just slamming into the mountains, and it's cold enough to snow. And I can easily see three or four feet probably on the, on the higher elevations by, by tomorrow. Well, Reed, some people are wondering how is it possible that you've got this relatively oh, – warm storm hitting New York. I'm here in Manhattan. I was outside a little while ago. It's windy, but it's not cold. And how is it that this one storm is creating warm rain and warm winds in New York, but it's creating snow where you are? Well, yeah, I'll tell you what, it's definitely not warm here. And that's what makes uh, Sandy so unique is that it's not just a hurricane. It's not just a warm core system, but it actually uh, joined forces with an extra tropical cyclone or, or a trough of low pressure in the upper levels. And that caused it to, to basically feed off each other. Once you got that temperature gradient with the cold Canadian air uh, behind it and that warm tropical moisture ahead of it, you had a, what's called a baroclinicity or a temperature gradient. And that's what fuels storms like this. That's what fuels nor'easters. But this is like a, a nor'easter on steroids with an injection of all this energy from the tropics. Oh, a nor'easter on steroids. I love it. Now, listen, I'm reading from CNN Wire on the western side of the storm. The mountains of West Virginia expected three feet of snow. The mountains of southwestern Virginia to the Kentucky state could see two feet of snow. Twelve to 18 inches of snow were expected in the mountains near the North Carolina-Tennessee border. So this, this snow aspect of this, which we haven't really discussed until now, is a pretty big swath of land, Reed. Yeah, it, it's, it's going to be really bad here, and I would be surprised if we're trapped here for at least a few days, maybe longer, and the power's already been flickering in Elkins, and, you know, I've, I've, and you know, this definitely can't be overlooked. I mean, these people are, it's, it's, there's definitely going to be problems out here, and uh, I've never chased a snowstorm like this, and I grew up in Michigan, and it's just the weight of the snow, too, like all the power lines are, are getting way down, and uh, it's, it's definitely not good. And actually, we're coming up on something here that, it looks like, uh, I'm sure, somebody with a, a well, flashlight here. We are seeing an actual live picture from a live okay. stream. So this is okay? absolutely okay. extraordinary. You are seeing what's happening. And where exactly are you again, Reed? Well, we're, we're just east of uh, Elkins. So we're, our, home ba our base is out of Elkins, and we are just going up the mountain just a couple miles. But um, West Virginia? Like West Virginia? Yes, this is in West Virginia, yeah, in, in the mountains. We're at about uh, 2,000 feet, and anything above about 16, 1,700 feet seems to be pretty snow-packed and, and very dangerous, and uh, it's really slick. It's like a real real heavy snow, and you're taking all that tropical moisture and uh, all that, the warm rain processes, and you're colliding it with the Canadian air mass, and it's who knows what it could do because we haven't seen anything like this. We don't have any Freaky. case studies. Freaky. And in D.C., people said they were feeling 